Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about problem solving involving simple interest. In the previous video, we have discussed on how to solve for the interest, future value, principal, time, and rate. In solving for the interest, I is equal to P times R times T. For the future value, we have here two formulas. F is equal to P plus I and F is equal to P times 1 plus RT. For the principal, we also have two formulas. P equals I divided by RT and P equals F minus I. For the time, we have T equals I divided by PR and for the rate, we have R equals I divided by P times T. We will be now using these formulas in solving some real world problems involving simple interest. Let us consider this first example. How much interest will Zaya earn in her investment of 10,500 pesos at 5% simple interest for 4 years? What we need to do first is to list down all the given. From the problem, it was given that Zaya will invest 10,500 pesos. Therefore, P is equal to 10,500. Moreover, it was stated that the investment will earn a 5% simple interest after 4 years. Therefore, R is equal to 5% or in decimal 0 0.05. On the other hand, time is equal to 4 years. The question is how much interest will Zaya earn from this investment? Therefore, we will be looking for the value of I. Remember that I is equal to P times R times T. Therefore, substituting the values or the given on the formula, then we will have 10,500 times 0 0.05 times 4 will give us 2,100. Therefore, Zaya will earn 2,100 pesos from the investment. Let us go to the next example. Zach borrowed 50,000 pesos from a lending company that charges 10% interest with an agreement to pay in full at the end of the term. If he paid 67,500 pesos at the end of the term, for how long did he borrow the money? Looking at the question, for how long did he borrow for the money, it means that we need to look for the value of T. For that case, what we need to do first is to list down all the given from the problem. Since Zach borrowed 50,000 pesos, then it means that the value of P or the principal is 50,000. The interest rate is equal to 10%. Therefore, R is equal to 10% or in decimal, it is equal to 0 0.10. Moreover, he paid a total of 67,500 at the end of the term. Therefore, 67,500 is the future value. Since we were asked for the time, recall that T is equal to I divided by P times R. However, from this formula, notice that we need the value of the interest. But looking at the given, we don't have the value of I here. Therefore, we need to solve first for the value of i. Since we were given the principal and the future value, then we can solve for the interest by subtracting 
F and P. So therefore, we will have 67,500 minus 50,000 will give us 17,500. Therefore, the interest being paid by Zach from the borrowed money is equal to 17,500. We can now use the value of I to solve for the value of T. Substituting now the values of I, P, and R to this formula, we're gonna have T equals 17,500 divided by 50,000 times 0 0.10. Simplify first the denominator. 50,000 times 0 0.10 will give us 5,000. Then, dividing 17,500 and 5,000, it will give us 3.5. Therefore, Zach borrowed the money for 3.5 years. Let us now try to look at this example. Lynn needs 70,000 pesos for her business expansion. She is willing to pay the interest of 9,625 pesos if she borrows the said amount from the bank. If she plans to pay within 30 months, what must be the interest rate of her loan? Looking at the question, we were asked for the interest rate. So again, we need to write down first the given. Since Lynn needs 70,000 pesos for her business expansion, it means that the principal is equal to 70,000. Moreover, it was stated in the problem that she is willing to pay the interest of 9,625 pesos. Therefore, I is equal to 9,625 pesos. Finally, she plans to pay within 30 months. Therefore, the time is equal to 30 months. However, remember that we need to write the time in terms of years. Therefore, converting 30 months in years, it will be equal to 2.5 years. In solving for the rate, remember that the formula for R is equal to I divided by P times T. Since we have on our given P, I, and T, we simply need to substitute these values on our formula. So we're gonna have 9,625 divided by 70,000 times 2.5. Simplifying first the denominator, we will have 9,625 all over 175,000. Dividing 9,625 by 175,000, we will have 0 0.055 or in percent, that is equal to 5.5%. Therefore, the interest rate needed must be 5.5%. For our next example, Veron wishes to have 22,700 pesos after 2 years and 3 months for her dream vacation. How much should she invest in her account today if the interest rate is 6%? Looking at the question, we were asked of how much should Veron be investing in her account. Therefore, we need to find for the value of the principal. Since we are looking for the value of the principal, then we need to do first is to list down all the given. 
Since Veron wishes to have 22,700 pesos, then it means that is the value of F. So therefore, F equals 22,700. The time is given to be 2 years and 3 months. So here, we need to convert 3 months into years. So therefore, T is equal to 2.25 because 3 months is equivalent to 0 0.25 year. Moreover, the interest rate is given to be 6%, therefore R is equal to 6% or in decimal, that is equal to 0 0.06. Looking at your given, we have the F, the T, and the R. But remember that we are looking for the value of P. Because of this, we can actually use the formula F equals P times 1 plus RT. But since we are looking for the value of P, dividing both sides by 1 plus RT, then it means that P is equal to F divided by 1 plus RT. So what we need to do now is to substitute these values to our formula. So we will have 22,700 divided by 1 plus 0 0.06 times 2.25. What we need to do first is to multiply 0 0.06 and 2.25. So it will be equal to... 22,700 divided by 1 plus 0 0.135. Next, add these two numbers at the denominator. Then we will have 22,700 divided by 1.135. Finally, Divide 22,700 by 1.135, then we will have 20,000. Therefore, Veron should invest 20,000 on her account so that she will have 22,700 pesos after 2 years and 3 months. For our last example, to renovate his house, Dan borrowed 120,000 pesos in the bank that charges 2 and 1 fourth percent interest rate. If he agreed to pay at the end of 6 months, how much should Dan pay the bank? In the question, how much should Dan pay in the bank? It means that we are looking for the future value. Therefore, to determine the value of F, we need to write first our given. Dan borrowed 120,000 pesos. Therefore, P equals 120,000. The bank charges 2 and 1 fourth percent interest rate. Therefore, the interest rate or R is equal to 2.25% or in decimal, that is equal to 0 0.0225. The time is being given in 6 months. But since we need to write the time in terms of years, then we need to convert 6 months in years, which is equivalent to 0 0.5 year. So since we have P, R, and T, to solve for the value of F, we will be using the formula P times 1 plus RT. Substituting our values to the given formula, then we're gonna have 120,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0225 times 0 0.5. What we need to do first is to multiply 0 0.0225 times 0 0.5. So we're gonna have 120,000 times 1 plus 0 0.01125.
then add 1 and 0 0.01125 we will have 120,000 times 1.01125 finally multiply 120,000 times 1.01125 we will have 121,350 therefore Dan should pay 121,350 pesos for his borrowed money. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about compound interest. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.